And from a movie scam to a painting scam, Wolfgang Beltraki may be the world's top art forger. 60 Minutes correspondent Bob Simon looks at how he deceived experts and made millions from fake works. Here's a preview of his Sunday night's report. Are you the best forger in the world? Maybe, yeah. In the moment. <laughs> he agreed to meet with us in Cologne recently and took us to a small wooden bridge outside his home. He volunteered to show us how he works. He was forging a Max Ernst, the German surrealist of the early 20th century. Beltrache was painting on this wooden bridge because Ernst had done much of his work on a wooden floor. What do you think this Max Ernst would be worth? This one? Yeah. Five million dollars, I think. Five million dollars and you can do it in three days? Yeah, yes, yes, sure, or quicker. Beltrachi estimates he has done 25 Max Ernsts. He's not copying an existing work. He's painting something he thinks Ernst might have done if he'd had the time or felt like it. So you would be doing a Cezanne that Cezanne never painted, but that you thought he might have wanted to paint? Yes, exactly. So in a sense, every Beltrachi painting is an original. He just lied about who painted it. He says he has forged a hundred artists and can do just about anyone. Could you do a Rembrandt? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Could you do a Leonardo? Yeah, yeah, sure. Who couldn't you do? Maybe a Bellini. <laughs> <laughs> a Bellini is really difficult. Did you love that? Yeah. Well, at least he knows what he can and cannot do, but I love yeah. his, he's so cavalier. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bellini, you can see how Mr. Belchocki pulled it all off and fooled the best of the experts. Bob Simon's full report Sunday night on 60 Minutes right here on CBS.